recording. Welcome back. We're back to another edition of MC TV 43. This is our 12th Zoom, our 12th class. Uh, today we're going to go into the wonderful world of chroma keying. Uh, as we're stumbling here in class, we're coming in. Reminder, 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 everybody. What's on uh, April 20th, Nick? The Student Film Showcase. That's April 20th. That's a whole whopping 10% of your grade extra credit if you go to it. You get more extra credit if you have a film in it. You get even more extra credit if you win a Gabby. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Submission. Whoa. He, Nick just sneezed and he kind of dabbed. Like, that was weird. It was just like, ah, choo, you know, like, uh, it was good. Yeah. You had to look at the sun to make yourself sneeze, right? That's a, that's a hack. Um, all right. We're going to get into this. Of course, if you are a student who is not attending in person or not attending um, uh, on Zoom, we all know our usual suspects. Uh, in order to get participation points, you need to comment on the Zoom, something you learned, something you liked, what you're doing. Of course, the best comment is to show me a link of what you're working on so I know that you have been editing, you are editing, you are thinking about editing, you're making edits. We should have enough to um, edit. Uh, today is chroma key lesson, so I'm going to move forward with that. Um, great. Mateo's going to show us an edit after today's lecture. I'm going to do a shorter lecture, just talk about chroma keying, uh, focus on one element. We all know what chroma key is. Yeah. Nick's going to help you. Aburalia, will you help me out and turn off the lights, please? Thank you kindly. All right. I'm going to share this. I'm going to share my account. There's... There's Jason's here now. All right, what you're seeing, you're gonna see my hardware. I'm gonna like, of course, change it to uh, the amp. Just got dark in here. All right, looks like I stopped my share for some reason again, but that's cool, let's go here again. All right, we're back, we're seeing it. Remember, Mateo, you're gonna, you're gonna, if something goes wrong and I don't like change it immediately and don't notice, you're going to do what? You're going to turn on your mic and say, yo, Tim, you've messed up yet again. Great. Um, all right. Or Michael, you could do that too. We would love, but you have to, if you talk, Michael, you turn off your, turn on your mic, you got to do it as a Morty voice. Okay. Yeah. Mateo, I expect you to do like ferret voice. Okay. No, just kidding. You don't have to. That's their icons, by the way, if you can't see it at home, uh, which you probably can't, hopefully. <laughs> oh, what are they saying? All right, Michael says got. Oh, geez, got it. Oh, geez, that's my Morty. That's Morty. Oh, Rick, boy, oh, got it. Jeez. Yeah, I guess I just say geez. Okay. <laughs> well, first and foremost, we're going to talk about something called chroma keying. Now, what's chroma keying? Well, chroma keying is also colloquially known as green screening. Why is it called green screening? Well. As we're looking at my image here, and of course, hey, today's appropriate because our, our projector, of course, is a green burned into it. Um, <laughs> we're going to be talking about when you shoot someone on a chroma key or a color key, or and chroma means color. That's why I'm saying chroma key. And a green screen, which we're, we have Alina here who is standing in front of a green screen, which is actually shot in, here in our... TV studio. Now, why is it called green screening or why do we use green screening? Well, that's pretty easy because specifically this chroma key green, uh, Emo might need some help uh, getting in Jason. Yeah. Jason, no, Jason's a, a TA, so he'll he'll help us out if necessary. Oh, also, I got this for you, Jason. We're going to talk about this. You oh. saw my email? Um. We'll we'll talk about um sorry, got distracted. Chroma key is uh of course means color, green screen, and we choose this chroma key green, which is kind of a neon green. Why? Why? Because 100 percent they used to use blue, used to use the color blue a lot. 
you watch like the behind the scenes making of uh, they used to use the uh, blue, which is behind the scenes of Forrest Gump. Uh, specifically, they did a lot of blue screen, getting rid of Lieutenant Dan's legs. He wore blue socks. Um, but the industry learned that, hey, blue occurs more naturally in, in nature. Uh, they choose this color green because this color does not usually end up on someone's clothing and also does not end up in someone's natural coloring. So where do you think blue happens in nature? If you put me on the screen uh, and you get close to me and, and you look past my transition lenses, you'll notice I have some baby blue eyes. My, I got, I got, here we go. Zoom in there for those people. Oh, there you go. I got blue eyes. Uh, so when you potentially chroma key, you're removing everything in the color, everything that's in the color, um, everything that is of that color or of that spectrum of color, and you'll remove it. And we'll see what that means in just a second. But so it causes an issue if we're doing blue screening and we have someone with blue eyes, you could potentially be chroma keying out their eyes. Does that make sense? Well, we'll see what that means. So, so they've moved on from green screen. Now, how hard or how easy is green screen? It's actually really easy to do. A lot of automation is built in. Uh, I mean, you could like set up a Twitch thing and it'll automatically pull out a background if you type it in. It's just a matter of how refined you want it or how good you want it to look. Good and bad. Once you know, and this is going to be one of these lessons you learn, you'll be able to see bad green screen moving forward. If you don't already can tell bad chroma keying. Um, but we're going to teach you how to make good ones in your movies that will make it so you can't really notice. All right. First and foremost, what we need is to shoot a subject on the green screen. Gavlin College, our TV studio, has a great place to shoot green screen. Why? Because we have the lighting. Lighting is one of the most important elements of proper green screening because not only do you have to light the background, which is all here behind Alina, um, you need to light it evenly so that we have a consistent color. Now, our color isn't as consistent, and you're going to tell me right now, Tim, it's hard to see, but I'm going to move it down here uh, just for our audience at home and know that, like, actually, if we look at this, we can see that this green is slightly darker. We can kind of see these folds right here are darker green, but that's like the spectrum. So this is really bright green. This is really dark green, and there's somewhere in the middle, which is what we're going to chroma key. Okay. Now, let's talk about this. Uh, so we have studio lights. So that means all our lights are hung, which you probably aren't going to be able to do at home. But we, ha we have lights that help light up the screen. And then also we have lights that light our subject. So what does that mean? It's like, not only do we have to light the background, but we have to light our subject so they look good. And distance is a huge factor. She's standing approximately four to six feet away from the screen and we have enough strong lights lighting the wall that when we shoot lights at her what's going to happen if i shoot a light at a person what does it do if i shoot a single light at you what what does it cause lights up my face right but what else is a what's a what's a makes a shadow right so <clears throat> with the distance far enough away we're far enough away that she is not casting a shadow on the wall because also we're shooting light on the wall as well, which combats causing the shadow here. Why don't we want the shadow on the wall? Well, the shadow does what? It causes a dark image, but it will change the color behind her. So it'll make a darker green specifically where Alina's walking around. And as we can see her move, we can see that the color behind her stays the same. Again, I can go down here and show you that as it moves, the color st stays the same. Okay, this is part of one of our other edits, but let's do a green screen effect here. All right, now notably, what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my green screen clip, which is right here, and I'm go actually gonna go, and we'll choose some of Mateo's Ronaldo footage, and I'm actually gonna click, let's grab that, I'm going to actually take the Ronaldo footage that we've been messing with, and I'm going to put it on the layer below um, 
Alina. All right, low this Alina layer. Why am I gonna do that? Because we're going to use what's called a color key uh, or a chrome key. And actually the one we're gonna use is an ultra key. The ultra key is going to remove anything in this image and make change the make it so it's translucent so we can see through anything this color. All right, so let's do that. Let's go into our effect control, of course, which is in our panel. And we're going to go into our video effects. Remember, we talked about all our video effects in the last two lessons. Well, I did skip one because I wanted to talk about it today. Uh, the one I skipped was right here, keying. All right, keying. And there's multiple keys here, which you can choose. I'm going to go with the ultra key, which is kind of the all-in-one key. I'm going to click and drag it onto the clip. And what's notable is we dragged it on and we noticed nothing happened. All right. Just let me know anytime the projector it doesn't look that refined. Okay, now I'm going to go up to effect control and we can see our ultra key. Now, number one, just looking at how it is, of course, we have our mask. Now, what's interesting about the mask, of course, is we can draw a mask and it's going to only key a certain area. Now, what I'm going to do is with this mask, notably, I want to draw a mask here. And we can see that her arm goes out of it. So I want to draw the mask that includes all of her. Okay, and as she moves, that's the only factor is knowing that, hey, my mask, my mask is going to be affected if her hand goes out. But actually, we jumped the gun a little bit. Let's get rid of the mask to start with. Let's just, let's just ultra key. Let's ultra key. I'm drag and drop the ultra key. And let's just start with just this image by itself. Okay. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my color key. Now, the color key allows me to pick any color. So potentially, if I chose this, didn't do anything. Why? Because it's not going to allow me to do the black key. But what I can do is now I can go and I can choose. And I'm going to choose somewhere in the green. And I like to choose somewhere around my subject that's kind of the in-between. So I don't want to do this super hot green or the super dark green out here. I'm going to choose somewhere medium. Okay, look. Immediately I choose it. And what's happening? Okay, I'm seeing the footage below. But look, if I go, if I make her go away, we kind of see that like, hey, that's kind of already just a decent key. Well, it's a still image and check out what happens. I'm going to move it down for the people here. Check out what happens when I hit play. Okay, we really can't see it, but you should be able to see, see, okay, you can see this white haze right here. It's just our key is not clean enough. And notably, also I'm going to move it down here. Notably, there's some haze around her hair, which, which is what's called spill. Now, spill, if you stand too close to the green screen, light reflects. If you shoot a bright light onto a color, it's going to bounce that color back off at you. So she has some what's spill. And that's some green spill. Fortunately, dark hair doesn't show up quite as bad. Um, lighter hair and fa and skin tone is going to like be where the spill is. What do you want me to do? Could you change it to like a matte, uh, the black and white scale? Yes. You want me to make it? Desaturated oh, or no, 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 you could see that. You want me to see like where the green value is? Yeah. Yes. Let me let me show you this. Here's our mat. Okay. Uh so I'm gonna go in and show you some of these options right here. Uh Jason, I'm trying to think of what you're trying to tell me. And um it's a view, right? Like uh, this might not be in this ultra key per se, but it could be in these other ones. Um, or maybe, uh, I think it, alpha channel. Okay. So there you go. Yeah. 
All right. Took me a second. Okay, so the alpha channel, we can actually see that all the black areas are the green that's being removed, and all the white are still areas that need to be resolved. And we can see, uh, let's see, alpha and color channel. You can also see that the gray is where all the color is. Um, but, you know, I like to look at the composite and I can kind of see where it is. And we'll look at this once we're done because we basically just turned it all on. And now there's elements that we want to do to change it. Now, what am I going to do is first and foremost, we can affect how transparent this color is. So if we go all the way to zero, instead, basically what we're doing is we're turning the green to gray. But if we up it more, it's going to take more away. Now, if we go to 100, look, we're choosing, remember I said green's a spectrum, uh, and we're actually like removing <laughs> a larger area of a spectrum. As you can see, it leaves the, the, the white, and I'm going to move it down for everybody here. Um, but you can see that it removes like even the color, the orange, uh, the, the different elements. We're just basically leaving all the black and and i can see right here the haze is still there um so that's an area that we want to adjust but basically it starts you at 45 and i'm going to tell you that you have some wiggle room that you can play with but you are just going to want to go and look at maybe 50 but then when you start playing with it you want to watch and make sure like oh uh i'm seeing I'm seeing that, okay, I'm losing some of my coloring here. And then we can go and look at our alpha, our color channels and our alpha, and we can see how much of it is losing. Especially hair is gonna be an element, but we can see that we're still got areas that we have to deal with. And what we're gonna deal with is pretty easy. So transparency is a good way to start. Let's go back to composite. Um, but I want to start with my pedestal here. Now, my pedestal is basically the curve of like how much green. So if I up my pedestal, I'm actually going to, you can see, look, if I go all the way to zero, we can see how much more haze there is and how dark it, darker it is there. But if I basically go more than that, we can see that the haze is basically removed uh, and we can see that like even the spill is pretty good. Uh, and if we look at our alpha, we can see that look, pretty much for the most part, I'm actually gonna go a little bit more. We can see this is zero, this is a hundred, zero and hundred. Most notably, take a look at her hair. This is where our spill section is. And why don't I just go all the way to 100? Well, if I go all the way to 100, I'm losing some hair there. Now, is it important to me or not? I don't know. So let's let's choose somewhere in the middle. But I definitely want to remove these dark areas. So I'm going to go, maybe, let's try 50%. Yeah, 50%. Okay, now let's go back to our image. Let's look at our composite and hit play. All right. To me, already looking way better. Uh oh, what happened here? Did I delete it all? Did I just jump to the end of the timeline? All right, was I working with a clip? Where? Where's my clip? Okay, there's Dune. Okay, we're right in here. What a messy, t ugly timeline. All right. Let's go back to our clip here. Oh, I think it just jumped forward. Okay. Let's go back. We're going to go back to our composite. I already think it's looking, it's looking decent. And we can see how it looks on darker images. And you know what? Uh, you can put video behind it. You could put a color solid. Or you know what I'm going to do, right? You all know what I'm going to do, right? No, I'm going to do, right? We're going to improve our Dune trailer. All right, now we got another person on our Dune trailer. She's going to ride the worm. All right. 
All right. All right. Here's here's our Chani, right? She's upset at, at Paul who rode the worm and drank the water of life. Okay. But look, also, if we mess again, if we mess with the scale, our problem is, of course, we only film this at a medium, a little wider than a medium shot here. Um, so if we adjust, we can make her smaller, right? And since we're chroma, we can do that, or we can make her even bigger, go in. Um, I'm sure she's stoked we're messing with this. Um, but uh, that's an element that we can do with the, with the chroma key. Uh, other elements to note, uh, highlights. If we up and uh, look, if I bring my highlight all the way there, we can actually see uh, here on our alpha channel, we can see that we're making our highlights brighter or bringing them down and removing them. Okay. What do you think the shadow is going to do? Same thing. And we could see if I bring my shadows all the way down, we go to our composite, we're making her face thinner and thinner. Oh, look, lots of shadows on black. So does that look great? Let me see. No. Look, the teeth is, there's all the black areas. Definitely maybe if she's like a mummy or something, but um, yes. Let's go back to 50 on our shadow. Tolerance. Tolerance is a little bit like, I don't think this clip showcases the tolerance very well, but it's going to allow you can actually add or reduce the amount of light that's coming in here. Basically, pedestal and transparency are the one and two, and then everything else is just uh, finessing. Now, our matte um, allows us to, again, ch we can cut down. This is the choke. And as you could see, we're we're getting rid of where the line between your key and your subject is. So as we look at the alpha channel and we mess with the choke, you can see we're basically reducing um, the the area of um, non green. And as you can see, the more we do, it's actually cutting through her hair right here. So I'm not going to mess with choke there. Soften is going to blur the line between the green and non-green. So this is like adding a, a, a soft green screen onto the person. All right, let's go back to zero. Contrast. You can see we can, we're, I don't know if you can see it here, but we're basically finessing the darks and the lights like we did with our color correction. Uh, the contrast is that area. Our midpoint is going to choose where uh, the green is. Um, uh, sorry, that was our contrast. I was messing with again. Sorry. Um, and our midpoint is similar, where the color spectrum is. It's like where you choose your pedestal. You can choose. Uh, this one will affect where the green is. Uh, potentially. Uh, all right. DC, okay. Spill suppression. Spill suppression is like, oh, what happens if I stood too close and now I have green on my face? Well, you can, you can color correct it a little bit here in here, but look, desaturation again is going to adjust our color on our person. Starts at 25, but if we go all the way, we're going to black and white. Uh, our range the range, of course, is you can see we can choose to basically mess with the tint here. It's going to get the green out of the face and green and pink are the opposites on our tint. Spill. Now the spill, I don't see very much spill, but again, it's going to affect these areas on her hair and the Luma's light. So we're going to bring up and down our light. You're going to see I'm going to do up and down, but... Realistically, this is shot really good that it's not going to do that. Color correction here, we can oversaturate her and we can actually do post green screen color correction that won't affect uh, our person as well. This, of course, we're doing extreme, but now we have the Hulk 
luminance is how much light is going on the person. Gomorrah is here on uh, on uh, Arrakis. And this is everything that's in your basic ultra key. Now, what's interesting about your ultra key is here's what I would do. Oh, hello. Um, okay. Uh, I want to actually scale this down. All right. There's our person here. All right. And what's interesting, what's why is there a map? The why is there a um a mask here? Well, what I can do is let's say I drew a mask. And what's going to happen is I'm just going to key part of the screen. Well, what's fun about the mask is we can actually invert the mask. And let's say potentially I do a really bad green screen, right? Or I only want to green screen half of it. We can draw the mask and it'll affect only the area inside or outside the mask based off of inverted or uh, extroverted. Well, I'm bringing this up really to talk about um, sometimes if we do a really poor green screen, I only want a green screen the area that my subject is walking in. I don't want to have to worry about the poor lighting over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, uh, do green screen only this area and then consider everything over here trash. And what? how am I going to get rid of the rest of this trash? Well, what I want to do is now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a different effect and I'm going to... Um, do what's called a garbage mat. Uh, and the garbage mat for me is I'm going to, oh, this is my problem. I have it over here. Okay. Couldn't see. I'm going to go and just choose a crop tool. Now the crop tool, I'm going to drop on top of this and I'm essentially going to draw what is a, di a whole different mask. And I am going to just draw my mask and keep in everything that's in this area okay again i can draw all the i can fix all the points and now and i guess what i'm going to invert it so i want to do everything that's outside of this mask now using the crop tool i'm going to basically crop left or right so what did i do let's turn off our green screen I'm going to turn off my ultra key. And now we can see that anything within my, my crop is essentially removed. But look, uh-oh, she walked outside of my crop. So what can I do is I can go in here. I can, of course, adjust my crop's mask and just fix everything over here. Okay. So we're going to watch the whole clip. All right. Now again, my masked... It's going to go all the way there. This is everything else I'm going to consider garbage. So I, I don't want to have to worry. Like, remember when we had that hazy area over here? Imagine if I couldn't fix it with my pedestal or any of the other tools. Well, I'm just going to cut it out of my image. So it's always going to be gone, right? I'm, I don't even have to worry about it. Maybe my green screen wasn't big enough and we actually saw whatever is behind the green screen, right? Like maybe I just had a green tarp and I just wanted to put it behind the head of my person, but we could see the per other people holding the tarp or whatever uh, on the right and the left. Well, I'm going to use the crop to basically create a garbage mask and delete it. Uh, I wonder if I have any green screen, bad green screen uh, on here. I probably don't. I probably only have good gab green screen. Um, uh, but yes, you're going to have a whole different levels of green screen, especially if you have your green screen from your Twitch channel or whatever at home. Uh, so draw a garbage mask, delete any areas that are outside. I mean, because realistically, all I care about right now is my subject, who is this person right here. I don't care if like I have to green screen something up here. And let's say like I have a, you know, I have something I want to be green screened up here. You can just create multiple layers, right? Like, and just green screen this subject and make everything else on the frame 
there. What's great about uh, the green screen, right, is I could copy, or what's great about Premiere is I can copy and paste it. And now I can, of course, you know, take this, we have our garbage mat. I have my ultra key, which I'm going to turn on. Ultra key that I'm going to turn on. Now, remember, look, now we have the green here, right? And that's because I drew a mask on my key. Well, let's, let's go into this ultra key and just delete that mask because I ended up using the crop to... Uh, oh, that's my problem. I'm clicking here. Let's go on our ultra key. Let's delete. So now look, we have two Gamoras that are going to fight each other. All right. And in fact, let's, let's even make it better. Let's go ahead and take this image and let's go into our effects. And I'm going to say, uh, no, not invert. I'm going to say flip. And I want to flip horizontally or vertically? Well, I'm going to flip vertically. Why? Because I chose the wrong one. I want to flip horizontally. Yeah. Okay. So I flipped it horizontally. Now what can I do is I can have them look at each other. All right. And I bet they even are going to like point at each other or something. And you know what? Let's make this one bigger. All right. Look, there's the big one versus the little one. All right, let's watch our clip. All right, great. Love in Dune. This doesn't happen in Dune, by the way. There's no Gamoras. Um, what's notable, of course, is remember our... <laughs> Notably in this image, let's take a look. Well, first and foremost, what happens to this hand here? It's like she's punching into the other one, right? Well, what we do know is this image is punching through the garbage mat. Um, so we're losing that finger there. So let's go into this one. Let's go and look. So it means what our garbage mat, which is our crop, our crop right here, our mass path, Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Is that the problem? All right, let's see. Sorry, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. All right, did I touch it wrong? All right, well, I think that one should be on the top. Okay. Evelyn College, everyone. It's free this year, so you can't complain too much. Um, <laughs> all right, Mateo, we're still seeing stuff. Our projectors. Thank you, Mateo. Okay, hopefully we're back. All right, so what's notable... Oh, went too far. So what I'm looking at right here is okay is her hand mother mother, mother mother all right piece of shoe all right hold on sorry we're we got some flashing apparently it's my computer's fault couldn't be that the burned out projector has a poor connection. Um, yeah, I know. What does that mean? Um, yeah, right. Um, okay. Hopefully. So our main issue is like, why is that hand disappearing? Well, I think the hand's disappearing because if we move, you know, if we get. Okay, she's the top layer, but look at this one. That one's hand is disappearing as well. Why are we going outside of the garbage mask? We can look at the crop here. Is it disappearing or is that just how she's holding her hand? Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm nuts here. I think she did. Yeah, the hand is cropped. Um but why? 
The fingers are feathered? All right. Does the Ultra Key still have a mask? Let's take a look. Should not. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's turn that off. No? Let's turn that off. No, it looks like I'm adjusting a wrong layer. So let's start here. That's part of my problem. Okay, so yes, here is the problem. Look at our mask, our crop mask. Uh, well, we didn't draw it well enough. There's our fingers are back. Okay. All right. So let's go in. I'm going to just take this crop. And since I fixed it, I'm going to say copy. Now what's notable is we need to go all the way through and make sure. Oh, look, the hands go away there too. This is why when you draw your mask, you need to do it right, Tim. All right, so let's just, I'm gonna give her some space to move around, be dramatic. Uh, I think we touched the line maybe. Let's just give it a little more. I could have curved it, but whatever. My green screen's pretty good, right? All right, and are we sick of green? Let's just... Uh, uh, mask expansion. Okay, we're not messing with that. It's in our ultra key, right? Color correction. Let's change our hue back. All right, hue Lori right here. Hey, we had no issue last week, right? Or last time. Now it hates me. Seizure alert. Okay, here we go. And go. And go. All right. Let's let's uh let's copy the ultra key. And I'm going watch this. If I hold control and click, oh no, is it fun? It's command, right? Yeah. Command click, you can select multiple um effects. We're going to take the effects from here and we're going to go in here and we're going to delete our crop, delete our ultra key and paste it there. All right. And we should turn this back on. Oh no. What happened? Well, it's because we inverted it, everything. We flipped it all horizontally. So we can't do that. <laughs> so let's undo. Undo, let's look back here. Okay, so since we don't wanna mess with that and we can't just copy and paste, I'm gonna go back into my crop mask here. Am I in the right one? Let's go ahead and off our flip just so we can look at our crop. Crop mask. And notably, this is where we lose the hand. So let's do that. And now we're going to turn back on our flip, which should not be an issue. JK, JK, it's this one over here. There we go. It's flipped, so that's why we have to adjust it right there. Let's just give enough space. All right, and there we go. Now, notably, we're in here. Also, look, our spill in our hands are notable, so we would go in and adjust. But we can see we're no longer clipping our person. Okay, reminder, your person you can mess with, but depending how you filmed it, eventually they'll go off frame. The other note is if we do a bunch of Alinas, remember the layer dominance order, whatever's on top will be on top. So if you want the little one to be behind the, the big one, I'm just gonna move the big one up a layer. And now you can see the big one's hand is in front of the little one. And then vice versa. Now the little, now this one's looking like they're grabbing the other ones. But um, so that's all ways we can play with.
Chrome key. Any questions about color keying? Again, it's called color keying. Why? You can do any color. You can remove any color. Um, just green is the way to do it. You can select any color, essentially. Look, if we choose this one from this Alina, and we go with our eyedropper, and we say, oh, actually, I want to lose skin tone. We can see that it's removing elements. Now, you, we can see through her face here. And we notice that like, oh, the green, why is that affecting? Well, it's color, it's removing that color from the green and turning it purple or whatever. Um, uh, and we'll notice that like, okay, we've lost elements here. Uh, again, this is all happening because uh, we just changed our color picker after we messed with all of our uh, spill suppression, our hue, uh, so that's why everything is changing. You know, if we pedestal up or down, we can see more or less of her face. Um, uh, the shadow. We can do some like really cool, like, oh, that seems creepy, right? But that can give us some like cool effect. Like why, why were we doing that? Uh, again, we picked a random area on her face, so it's probably not kind. But if we choose like her hair or you can see, you can pick any color. It's just going to affect the rest of your image, how it's shot. And it's specifically, it's affecting the green, of course, because we did mess with the hue, right? So if we go back to here, we can see that choosing the green does that. We can see the haze. It definitely needs some uh, pedestal. And some spill suppression and sh or, oh, I messed with all the shadows and everything. Okay, look, we can definitely do bad green screen happening here. Okay, questions? Should all be able to play around with this? Uh, you can download, go onto YouTube and download green screen. This is important because you will have a green screen assignment in this class coming up. I'll I'll assign it. You basically will down. I'm gonna give you some green screen clips, and I want you to chroma key it. Uh, and put it into a background. In fact, it's coming up, I think, in two weeks, uh, potentially. Uh, we'll look at the schedule and let you know. But you'll have to turn in this. If you want to start on it, I will let me know and I'll send you the clips that you can do use. But basically, um, I, I just went on YouTube. I typed in green screen uh, and downloaded a bunch of dancing aliens and a bunch of spaceships, Shrek. Um, uh, there, trust me, there's some Shrek you can put into your thing. Well, it's harder because Shrek is green. So what background should Shrek be on? Good question. Um, yes, Cleopatra, you have a question? The question was, uh, I've noticed like uh, sometimes on YouTube, you see people like, um, yeah they're they're doing so like on twitch or something right they're like in the like uh let's do this i'll i'll uh pretend uh let's get rid of the little one let's get alina right here and let's say I'm playing Five Nights at Freddy's or whatever, right? No, Alina, Alina reacts to Tim's Dune 3 trailer. All right. So you know what? You ever notice they're always almost on this side, right? They're always, It's always that side, right? Yeah, why is it that? But okay, so then, oh, look. This sucks. I hate it. This is terrible. The animation is horrible. You know, what's going on? Yeah, most most Twitch streamers, if they do it like that, or YouTubers, will put up a green screen behind them. And then uh, what's interesting is a lot of that software has built-in chroma keying. So if you use um, the software, and what's the live casting software that they all use? Um, OBS. If you use this, some type of OBS, it has the chroma key built in, which will do it and do it pretty decently. Now, again, the ones that look really good are streamers who like, you know, there's some streamers who don't do a background. They just do a small square, right? So you see their image set up and their background. But those who 
don't necessarily have a nice background end up putting up a green screen. And then you can see sometimes they'll move and their, their arm will move or something. It's the computer trying to figure it out. Yeah, glasses really reflect the light and, and cause an issue. So those are all like, yeah, good good comment. That's for sure 100%. They're using chroma keying, which is, can be built in their software. Or you can see we can film it this way. We can film Dune and we can lay the React video on top and do it separately. It's just a harder work. It's just harder to, to do it this way. And most YouTube streamers know like, oh, I'm just going to record myself watching it live and then I have to do less editing that way. Make sense? Okay. That's going to be it for today's lecture. Questions or comments? Mateo, you had a video I would love to watch. I'm going to stop my share right now. Um, did you, yeah, give me, drop it in the link. We'll watch it. Give you critiques here from the class. Drop, drop me a link. <clears throat> but yeah, your green screen assignment is coming up. In fact, when I look at it right now, when does that happen? Yeah, Blynn. Oh, it's right here. Let's look at our home. All right, you can see the behind the scenes for me. Uh, we're what, we're week seven. Green Screak, week 11. So April 23rd is when that's gonna happen. Great. This is the best video I've ever seen. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's falling. It's hilarious. Man, I really wish I could ride the worm. Only a hundred views on YouTube. It's horrible. <laughs> and people disliked it. I got some down. I got some thumbs downs. You really believe it? What the heck? Thumbs down? <laughs> I think it's just haters who hate Dune. So, yeah, yeah. there's some. It's the Star Wars people that are freak. They're Wait. freaks. They're upset. You know I just Wars? learned about it. Oh, it's yeah. this really bad thing. Oh, yeah, apparently the girl turns out to be the emperor's granddaughter, and then Wait. somehow the emperor returned. Yeah, is that yeah. really what happens? I gave up on it. Yeah, that's actually legit. Dang. But isn't it like somehow Palpatine returned? That's what they say. Like her dad is. Like, what? I, I can't somehow Palpatine returned. I can't like spit out the sentence. Apparently, the 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 canonically the Emperor returned in Fortnite. Uh, <laughs> the announcement of the Emperor was a, a Fortnite event. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. It was. No, no, no. All right. An exclusive live. Yeah. Like, like if okay, like for example. All right, Mateo, just one second. So, like for example, if I want to make a video explaining about this. Yes. I notice like um, there's a. Uh, maybe if I don't want to show myself yeah but I have this and then I'm going to label like if, as I'm explaining I'm as the stuff like, come up right as the, yeah like that is, is that yeah. premium does do we have um the she was like stuff she that, the, in premium she had, in premium yeah. thing do yeah. we have something that like I can explain and write in the you want to like write no, stuff I like with your hands or do you want type tools yeah like okay, so it drops in yeah like yeah. if you if i say try cuspid and then it, yeah remember yeah. it's almost like our animation that we yeah. did right mm -hmm. if you made everything different layers you yeah, could just pop it in or yeah. like for example like what we're doing with june like yeah just like what just like what we do with dune but if but like if you brought that in as an image and okay. everything was a separate layer yes. you could just pop it all on as different layers and turn and have the layers set up right you get here like as i'm talking sorry mateo we'll watch it in just one second but uh 
Oh, you got me the good ones today. Okay, so here, let me just find. What class was that one? Which class was? Uh, Dune. Yeah, nine, I think. Nine. Uh, I'll. I can tell you right now. Uh, here, let me look. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah. That's the reason he hates Star Wars. He was just ragging on it. So, what is him? Yeah, I thought it was Rain and Spud when I was like, yeah. Uh, 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 studio. But that's okay. I can tell you right now. It's, uh, oh, it's number nine. Okay, number nine. Yeah. That's where the animations are, right? Yeah, that was the whole animation video. Okay, cool. Okay, and then, okay, let's go and check out. It's a tribute video. I'm excited. It's a tribute. Oh, man, you're going to make me cry, Mateo. Okay, sound on. Let's share the. No, it's even better than. Right. No. Is it? This is no. It's if you're thinking about getting better internet at a better price, good thinking. Oh, this is this is horrible. You're gonna make me cry because I have to tell you, as much as I love Shrek, I love Goku as that much more. Okay. Mario. I do love Mario. They're all they're my Mount Rushmores. You know, they're like literally. It's Shrek. It's Mario. It's Goku, and then it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What about Patrick? I love Paul, but he's no he's no Mal Rushmore, okay? Let's watch this. Oh, sorry, I have to put on the right audio. Every time I mess up. Every look, it's on though. What the I think the audio No, it's gotta go through your HDMI. It is. Is it? Doesn't seem like it. It is plugged in. There's a there's some garlic. Um uh, sorry, guys. All right. No, it's not my hand. Somebody else sent it and said, Hey, can you help me out? And I said, sure. I don't know. Let me put in Chrome. Maybe it'll work in Chrome. Okay, okay. What the Yeah, it played through Premiere, no problem. Maybe it's just the video. Why would that do it? No, it's gonna be the player. It's got it's got to be sound. Oh look, it changed. That was weird. Uh, okay, let's try it now. Okay, we're excited. I'm excited, Mateo. Turn up, bro. Oh, uh, there's Shenron. Gotta love Shenron. Oh, Geronimo. DVD, bro. Okay, sorry guys. Geronimo, the guy who's in charge of everything, messed up. Okay. Clearly. Okay, so now where is it? It's playing. Oh, there we go. Great. The whole thing you screwed up, Geronimo. Where? Why can't I hear it now? Oh my gosh. Sorry, everybody. Geronimo's a jerk. Okay. Too afraid to play me in uh, Smash Brothers. I set up okay. Switch yesterday. All right, let's go. It's quiet. All right. Okay, Mateo. I uh, I want I I like it a lot. I think your edits look awesome. Um, uh, my questions are a couple things. Where where did you get the footage? This like warp effect that's on these images is were those on the images? You know what I'm saying? There's a couple points where. 
like is that just the animation you pulled it from this doesn't look like the traditional cell animation it's like watch his mouth like right there with with this blurring are you doing an effect or was this just on your source oh my gosh are they gone oh you're here okay they're on the images yeah i couldn't figure out how to remove them okay great just just a question i wondered if you added it and was going to ask why um but uh yeah my only comment is it could be longer um i you know your song like to me you want a real emotional punch you go to the end of the song and you have like the last notes be at the end and kind of merge the song at one point but bro you could make it way longer like let's see some of the some of the uh battle of the gods right what's the what's the tournament called tournament of the universe what's that one called the arc in dragon ball super of course we all know when they're compete no oh annihilation no annihilation. it's, it's dragon. no it's the tournament in dragon ball super where all the universes are fighting each other to see which is going to be the one universe tournament of power thank you thank you very much mateo dude the tournament of power rules and by the way uh I, you're talking to a person you're talking to a person of course who've seen dragon watch dragon ball z as it aired in america as a child then watched all of dragon ball z again then watched all of dragon ball super and then i watched all of dragon ball kai just because i i actually think kai is a good way to introduce new people but goku rules uh i've never watched the original dragon ball to be honest um well Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z is a, a, a distinct change between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball is more like a fun adventure series. And then Dragon Ball Z is kind of like a, wait, a so wait, fighting. Is it like the writer or the artist? He's a creator of the mag, the manga uh, and creator of Goku. So, But like, like artist wise, he's not. Yeah, he's the artist, artist and the writer. Yeah, 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 yeah. For real, for real. Wouldn't, there wouldn't be any uh there wouldn't be luffy if if uh goku didn't exist let me just say that mm -hmm. and don't even get me started in a fight who could win goku or luffy because what about goku and super or street well it depends it, it's one of those things it's like uh well the argument is always like can't well actually <laughs> death battles <laughs> The epic rat battle. <laughs> I hate these videos. Yeah. Death battle sponsored by BetterHelp. This is thirty minutes. <laughs> So. But remember, this is bullshit. They make Superman win. Oh, did you see that? Instant transmission. Superman can't do instant transmission. Just 
Oh, oh my gosh, he went God. This is God mode. He went from Saiyan four to God. Oh, come on, Superman. All right, I'll show you just how powerful I really am. <laughs> What do you think? That was awesome! That was a good suit! Oh, uh, thanks. Kryptonian fabric. My mom made it for me. <laughs> Ultra Instinct! <laughs> Almost had me there. That was actually pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. But I'll be stronger next time. I'll look forward to it. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> They're on. They just killed billions of people? Yeah. <laughs> well, to be honest. If you live in the universe with uh, Goku, you probably have died multiple times. Uh, uh, yeah, it, I was thinking about like uh, if you if you live in a universe that. Um, am I still sharing the screen? I was I wasn't sure. We watched all that. I wasn't yeah. even sharing it. Oh man, you guys again! You guys should. You were just watching me watch Goku lose to. Stupid Superman. Who, by the way, by the way. Oh, why am I record? Why did I record that even? Uh, <laughs>